Welcome back to the AWL Arena for night two of Champions Week. And it's time to get interpromotional. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, one submission, or knockout to decide the winner. And it is for the Animated Wrestling League Intercontinental Championship. For many years, it has been said that IWGP Gold, New Japan Gold, is your ticket to the AWL Arena. And there you see a group full of champions right now. Suzuki-gun. Suzuki Minoru leading from the general, leading from the back there, the never open weight champion. Taichi and tonight's challenger, Zack Sabre Jr. Together they are Dangerous Texters, which is one of those names. I just can't say without laughing. They are the I. But what's not a laughing matter? They are the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. They are also both currently competing in the G1 Climax Tournament. Zack Saber Jr. tonight, as that is the only one that really matters, because the other one is Taichi. Let's be honest. Zack Saber Jr. as of night four of the tournament, sitting on two points. One and one, and losing a 28 minute, 28 second bout against the double gold champion, Tetsuya Naito. Naito Tetsuya, if you prefer. So he's currently ensconced in the middle of the block, currently on two points, along with Kente Evil and Hiroki Goto. Trailing Naito, Toriyano somehow, and Juice Robinson, who are all on four points, and Sonata Yoshihashi and Yoshi Tanahashi on zero. Again, that is as of this recording. But right now, the only points that matter, the only match that matters, is this one for the An Animated Wrestling League, the Intercontinental Championship, and there is Kid Canada, who is looking to write his story back to the Grand Championship. When he won the, I the AWL Grand Championship, he did so by cashing in a golden opportunity. So he knows about the road less traveled. It's been a while since we've seen a wrestler get up to three successful title defenses out of the five necessary to complete the IC title and challenge for the biggest prize in all of animated wrestling. Kid Canada has said he wants to defend the title against wrestlers of five different nations. So, here come the Brits. The blank face representing the limitless potential of the Intercontinental Champion. Let's go to ringside. Introducing first the challenger representing Shinihon Kurosu. He is a member of Suzuki Gun and one half of the reigning IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. Fighting out of the Isle of Sheppey, England, the submission master, Zack Sabre Jr. And his opponent, he is the reigning and defending Animated Wrestling League Intercontinental Champion, tonight making his fourth title defense. The last master of the dungeon, a member of Seikai Gun, the most Canadian man in the world, Kid Canada! This is an officially sanctioned Intercontinental Championship match under the auspices of the Animated Wrestling League, AWL Commissioner presiding. At the sound of the bell, AWL Senior Official Joey Babaganoush in charge. Both men really uh, running down their resumes here, trying to get a psychological advantage over the other. Zack Sabre Jr., I'm going to argue, a better wrestler than Kid Canada. And Tachiai kicked to the stomach. And already you can see Zack Sabre Jr. starting to, whoa, work over a body part. In this case, the left arm of the champion. And now that left arm stretch. Now the right arm being snapped a la Pentagon Dark. Zack Sabre Jr. not going for a cover immediately, going for a hold 20, I think. Yes, immediately. 
again, focusing on the arm-based submissions here. Kid Canada had to know that was coming. At least that some body part would be selected for demolition. And of course, we've got both Suzuki-gun and Seikai-gun at ringside. I think essentially Seikai-gun here to make sure there is a minimum of Suzuki-gun bullshit. And of course, the uh, champion's advantage will make it unlikely that Suzuki-gun will interfere. One minute in and Suzuki Minoru himself not particularly happy with what he's seeing here. As Kid Canada, the last master of the dungeon, part of the final graduating class of the legendary Stu Hart dungeon alongside Tyson Kidd. And now trying to stretch him like Stu would do, but uh, Zack Sabre Jr. able to get out of it. Uh, Zack Sabre Jr., a junior heavyweight usually. He's recently gone up to heavy in New Japan, but he's still got a serious size and weight disadvantage against Kid Canada in this Intercontinental and Interpromotional Championship match. And I know the powers that be, the matchmakers over at New Japan Pro Wrestling, they're not happy with the idea that Suzuki-gun is representing them. Suzuki-gun, the outsiders, and a little finger wag there from Kid Canada, and he regrets that almost immediately with a drop kick in the corner. Do not piss off Zack Sabre Jr. It will not end well for you. Sabre is usually a, ZSJ I should call him, is usually a, uh, a calm, cool, collected wrestler, but when you tick him off, he can get downright sadistic. Going over the top into a DDT. Taichi happy with that. Taichi actually doing better than, Junior, than Zack Sabre Jr. in the G1 Climax at the moment. Currently uh, four points to Zack Sabre Jr.'s two. He is, as of this recording, undefeated in the A block of the tournament. Kick out barely, actually I don't even think there was a one count, that was a zero count. Kid Canada looking up, down. Suzuki-gun coming into the AWL, I think specifically for this challenge, because no one from the British Isles had actually challenged for the Intercontinental Championship yet, and now trying to stretch him like Stu would do. Grab a body part, it's interesting that Zack Sabre Jr. was targeting the arms earlier, now Kid Canada going after the legs. Also, what's the fatigue factor for Zack Sabre Jr.? 28 and a half, wait a minute, Suzuki-gun bullshit in the background there. 28, wait a minute, going for the Snapdragon, and no, the full Nelson, broken by Kid Canada. And Canadian Crunch out of nowhere. I just mentioned the fatigue factor, I think that's part of it, cover. Referee out of position, but still for the one, two, three, that's it, Kid Canada. Off of 28 minutes with Naito. Barely lasts four with the Intercontinental Champion. Kid Canada with mo probably the most decisive victory of his championship reign. Canadian Crunch for the one, two, three. Here is your winner, and still and wrestlingly, Intercontinental Champion, Kid Canada. Four down and one to go. Tomorrow we'll see if Lady Smooth Jessica Kidd can redeem the British wrestling scene. Ashtamol Suzuki.